There are so many questions and very few answers at the moment, but BandLab have announced that they're going to be phasing out the free Cakewalk by BandLab DAW, and they're replacing it with two new products. And one of these is bringing back the old sonar name, which Cakewalk by BandLab used to be called. And the other one is going to be called Cakewalk Next. So let's have a look at both of these programs and we'll see why I think one of them might be a little bit of a disappointment, but who are each one of these geared toward? What might they cost? And what does this mean to the future of these DAWs and other DAWs in general? So you can see on the website, there's the two new products that are coming soon. Let's start with Cakewalk Next. So right away on this page, you can see a bit of a screenshot of Cakewalk Next, and it kind of looks like a slicker version of the BandLab DAW, which is cloud-based. But I'm really hoping that this is going to be on your computer and not a cloud-based program. And there is a reason why I think this is going to be a program on your computer and not cloud-based. So we'll look at that in just a bit but it does look like it might have a nice modern workflow to it. And if we scroll down here, it says the newest addition to Cakewalk next offers easy to use yet powerful tools for creators of all stages. And you can see, you can also request early access to test this out if you want. So let's look down here. It says cross platform compatibility. Next is available on both Mac and Windows. Now, if this was a cloud-based program, it would be available on everything, but they're specifically saying Mac and Windows, which makes me think that this is going to be a program that you install on your computer. Now, here we have ease of accessibility. So no matter your level of expertise, we understand your evolving needs and meet you where you are. So it sounds like it's going to be easy for beginners to get into this, which BandLab, the online version, is easy to get started with. And if this is sort of an extension of that, I can see how this is going to be easy for users. But if you are getting more advanced and the more you grow, this program should grow with you and your skills. And over here we have BandLab connectivity. So publish your tracks to BandLab and access its diverse library of royalty-free sounds and samples. And they've really been pushing their BandLab community lately. So I can see that this is going to be very much a big part of that community. And then down here we have some more images of Cakewalk Next. It says, less work, more flow. Turning your dream song into reality should be easy. Again, making it sound like it's going to be easy for beginners to get started with it. And it looks like you're going to be able to edit lyrics and synchronize them with your song's timeline. So that's pretty cool. Access unlimited samples, which you can do in BandLab. And then customize your sound. Easily shape unique sounds with beats and sampler and pad controller features. Plus experience fluid integration, browse and tag your favorite AU and VST plugins for seamless access. And then down here, you can see they have some frequently asked questions, a couple that are to do with the beta testing, but is next replacing Cakewalk by BandLab? So that's an interesting question right there. No, next is Cakewalk's newest innovation, empowering creators with accessible next-gen music creation tools to speed up song making. We will continue providing community support and maintenance for Cakewalk by BandLab until both Cakewalk Next and Sonar become publicly available. And at some point after the release of Next and Sonar, Cakewalk by BandLab will no longer be supported. Existing Cakewalk by BandLab users will be able to continue using their software after the release of Sonar, but in the meantime, Cakewalk by BandLab continues to be available here. Now, here's another big question that a lot of people will have. Will Next and Sonar be free like Cakewalk by BandLab? Next and Sonar will be offered at price points designed to meet the needs of different customers. More information will be provided as we approach the launch date for these new products. So it sounds like there's going to be a price for both, which I can appreciate because they need to pay the bills over there and they just got a ton of investment money. So they got to show their investors that it's worth investing in something that's not just giving everything away. Now, having said that, I do have a feeling of how they're going to price Cakewalk next, at least. And I have a feeling it's going to be through a membership or a subscription type of thing because they've really been pushing memberships on the BandLab community platform that they have. And in the perks that you get with those memberships, it does say that there's more things coming soon, which 
could be this as a more thing that's coming soon. Will it be subscription or membership based only? I don't know, but I do have a feeling that it's going to be included with the membership on the BandLab community. I really hope that it's not only a subscription based thing because I think that's going to turn a lot of new users off and there will be people that find use in the subscription model. I'm not saying that subscriptions are bad. I just know a lot of people hate them. Now let's have a look at what they're saying about the new sonar DAW. So right away when you click into this page, you'll notice that sonar looks identical to what we have right now with Cakewalk by BandLab. And they're saying this is the ultimate music production package for creative minds. So obviously this is the more advanced DAW for more pro users or people who are used to working with Cakewalk by BandLab or Cakewalk or the former Sonar Platinum, this is going to be for those people. And they do say that you'll be able to open your old Sonar Platinum project files and your Cakewalk by BandLab project files in this new version. So let's see what else we've got going on here. It says Sonar will bear an exciting new visual identity while retaining its existing workflows. This name change reflects our continued commitment to serving core audio production needs and providing the best all around audio solution for Windows. So one thing in here that's a little bit of a disappointment to me is retaining its existing workflows. Cakewalk by BandLab is a huge, impressive program. It's full of pro features and all of that stuff. I'm not knocking Cakewalk by BandLab. I use it and I do like the program, but the one thing I really wish it had was a more modern workflow, a more improved workflow. And it says that they're going to be retaining its existing workflows. So that's a little bit of a disappointment to me because I would have liked to see them take Sonar or Cakewalk, whatever you want to call it, and bring it up to a more modern level that's in line with other DAWs that are available out there. It just kind of sounds like they're making it look nicer, giving it a little bit better graphics, but not modernizing that workflow. Maybe that will come eventually, but right now it just sounds like they're updating the graphics really. And will installing Cakewalk Sonar overwrite Cakewalk by BandLab? No, the two applications installed at different locations on your file system so they can coexist on your computer. So what might this all mean to other digital audio workstations? Well, it's going to depend on what the price point is for each of these. I think that if there is a cost at all, if whatever it is, that we're going to see programs like Traction Waveform Free get a bit of an increase in the user base that they have. And that's an excellent program too, because it's unlimited and it's got a more modern workflow to it. And you can still do everything that you want in a modern DAW. But not everybody might go to a free DAW. They might start to explore other paid DAWs as well, because now if they're asking for money for this program, most people I think will shop around. They'll say, well, this costs this much. What other programs cost this much? And they might shop around to see what else is out there. And again, it depends on what the price point of this is, but I'm sure people are going to compare and see what's available at the same price point. So we could see user bases increase on other DAWs as well, not just the free ones. And if you're thinking that you might replace Cakewalk by BandLab once they start charging money for it, click the video on the screen to see some of the best DAWs that are available for Windows right now. And these include free digital audio workstations or paid ones. And if you liked this video that you're watching right now, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.